Hello guys, I am Matthew Asnewski. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be ranking my top five MVP candidates for this year. And I'll give you why. And yeah, so let's go ahead and start with number five. My first pick is Steph Curry. Steph Curry is having a very good year. And in my opinion... He is more val valuable to the Warriors than anybody else on that team. I think it's been proven when he is off the court, the Warriors aren't the same team. But if any other of their stars exits, they're still probably the best team in the West. But when he leaves, it's been proven this year that that team is not the same without him. And I think Curry goes number five on my list. Number four, LeBron James. Now, Le LeBron James won't win it. He, Steph Curry has a better shot at winning it than him, but LeBron definitely needs to be in the consideration. He hasn't played in like over a month, but he's supposed to be returning very soon. But we got to realize LeBron should have more than four MVPs. He should have like six or seven being realistic. We just don't give it to him. And LeBron has to be in the top four, so I put him there. And now, number three... This guy's normally, many of you guys would probably say he's ranked around 6. In my opinion, which, believe me, I'm a Pacers fan, so there will be no bias here. I think number 3 is Paul George. Please realize Paul George is leading the Thunder. Why, he does have Westbrook. He has now become the star player in OKC. It almost reminds me of what Westbrook and KD were. Because... Because, like, Paul George has kind of taken over the number one option, but Westbrook's probably still considered the best player there. But Paul George is having an unbelievable year. He definitely deserved to be a starter. He's averaging, like, 28 points per game, which is very, like, that's what, I think his highest before was, like, 23 points per game. So that's way better. In my opinion, he should also be in consideration for the most improved player, even though he's already won it once. He definitely should be in the consideration because from last year to this year, he's went from, like, all-star type player to, like, MVP candidate. Number two, many of you guys have him at number one. Number two, in my opinion, is Giannis, um, a uh, bunch of letters, last name. Uh, he, why well, many people have him as the MVP, and knowing him, he's probably going to win it this year, but... He's a very good player. He's leading his team to number one in the East, which, believe me, while the East is not a strong conference, the first five or six teams are very good. Well, I don't know about the Pacers since Oladipo got injured. They're still a top six team even without Oladipo, but right now Giannis is having a very good year, but he does not compare to who I have at number one, James Harden. While Giannis will probably win it over him, Harden deserves to win it because right now he basically... When Chris Paul and Capella got hurt, the Thunder, or not Thunder, my bad, the Rockets were around 4th, like 14th in the West. Now they are like 5th or 4th. And that was, with, that was with Harden as their only, like, even really good player on their team. He's been averaging, since like mid-December, he's been averaging like 40-something points per game. That's like the most since Wilt Chamberlain averaged like 50. If you don't count Wilt Chamberlain, he's averaging almost the most points per season NBA history. And in my opinion, I think he's going to keep it up. And if there's anybody more valuable to a team this year, it is James Harden. The Rockets would be second to last right now if it was not for him. And he is putting up one of probably the greatest stat line like in a long time for any player. And in my opinion, he's more valu valuable to his team this year. And in my opinion, James Harden tops the list at number one. It's probably not going to end that way, but that's my opinion. If you guys have different opinions, don't dislike the video. Just leave what you think nicely in the comments. Daily uploads are now two weeks strong. It's probably going to end soon. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and bye.